Hey tech enthusiasts! Welcome back to Fast Cabling, where we explore the latest and greatest in tech solution to make your life easier and more connected. Today in this video, we are diving into an exciting and essential topic, setting up outdoor Wi-Fi 6 networks in parks and large farms. Now, whether you're managing a public park or running a large farm, having reliable outdoor Wi-Fi coverage is more important than ever. And also, if you're looking for tailored tech support, you can get a free tech consultation from our team of experts and discover the best solution for your tech needs. So just send us your questions through the link down in the description box below. Now let's get started. So parks and farms are vast open spaces teeming with life and activity. From families enjoying a picnic to farm workers managing crops, these areas are hubs of activity that can greatly benefit from robust Wi-Fi coverage. But why exactly is outdoor Wi-Fi so crucial in this setting? The reliable outdoor Wi-Fi ensures that visitors stay connected, enhances productivity for farm workers, and also supports a plethora of IoT devices and smart farming technology. So first, let's talk about Wi-Fi 6. Now, Wi-Fi 6, also known as 802.11ax, this is the latest generation of Wi-Fi technology. It offers faster speed, higher efficiency, and better performance in crowded environment. So this makes it perfect for a large open spaces like parks and farms. So with Wi-Fi 6, you can get enhanced connectivity, which means visitors can easily share their experiences online, and farm workers can access real-time data to make informed decisions. It also significantly improves productivity and convenience by supporting multiple devices simultaneously without sacrificing performance. Plus, it is a game changer for IoT devices and smart farming technology, enabling precise monitoring and control of farm operation. But setting up Wi Fi in outdoor locations comes with its own sets of challenges. First, we have to consider the large area coverage. Ensuring that the entire space gets the consistent Wi Fi signal can be tricky. Then there's the weather and environmental factors. Your equipment needs to withstand rain, wind, and extreme temperatures. Lastly, infrastructure limitations, such as lack of power sources and the complexity of laying cables. They can pose significant hurdles. So how do you choose the right Wi-Fi 6 access point for this outdoor setting? So you should look for features like outdoor durability, weatherproof and temperature resistant design, excellent range and signal strength, multi-device support, and effective bandwidth management. So here meet our latest Wi-Fi 6 wireless access point that ticks all these boxes and more. It is a high-performance dual-band 802.11ax product that provides 2.4 and 5 GHz signal on different bands, and with a concurrent dual-band rate of up to 3,600 Mbps. per second. And it can simultaneously connect 256 wireless terminal devices and increase the average bandwidth per terminal by 3 to 4 times. Also support 160 MHz Ultra wide bandwidth and significantly expanding user capacity. And the entire body is made out of aluminum material with an IP67 dustproof and waterproof design, which effectively shields the main unit from external signal interference and assists with motherboard heat dissipation. And the lightning protection design allows it to withstand various harsh outdoor environments, such as thunderstorm and freezing conditions. And the four high-gain omnidirectional glass rod antennas ensure broader coverage and smoother data transmission, allowing for a lag-free internet experience and the coverage radius can reach up to 100 meters, easily meeting the extensive coverage needs of outdoor Wi-Fi projects. 
and the 2.5G network port breakthrough gigabit network, offering faster transmission speed, more stable performance, and better transmission quality, effectively enhancing the stability of the device. So now, let's talk about connecting this SS point to the main network. Now, there are three main methods. Direct Ethernet connection, fiber optic cables, and wireless point-to-point -point bridges. First, we have the Direct Ethernet connection. This method is straightforward. You run an Ethernet cable from your main network to the SS point, and the pros are reliability and ease of setup. However, it can be costly and impractical over long distances due to the need of extensive cabling and potential signal degradation. So next up, fiber optic cables. Now these cables use lights to transmit data, offering high speed and long distance capability. They're perfect for covering a large areas with minimal signal loss. But the downside is they can be expensive to install and require specialized equipment and expertise for setup. And finally, we have the wireless point-to-point -point bridges. Now, these devices create a wireless link between two locations and making them ideal for areas where running cable is impossible. And they offer flexibility and are relatively easy to install. So the wireless bridges will be perfect for the large areas like farms and parks, where you need to connect multiple access points over a long distances. So now let's move on and check out how to set them up. So now we're here in front of the demonstration board. And on this side, we have our home router, the wireless network bridge, and the PoE injector to power it up. And on that side, we have our Wi-Fi 6 SS point already mounted on a pole, as well as our other network bridge. Those two are the PoE injectors to power them up. So now let's do the connection together. Here from the router, I'm going to use an Ethernet cable to connect it to the PoE injector. Plug it into the LAN port to provide data and then use another short patch cord to connect the PoE output port all the way to our network bridge. This one here is the PoE port, so make sure you plug it into the right one. So now this wireless bridge is receiving both power and data through this single Ethernet cable. We have an extra port so you can connect to other devices as well. And this is the one pairing button. By pressing this button, we can pair it up with the other bridge at ease. There's no need for complicated configurations. So now let's walk over there to our other wireless bridge. Now, on the pole, you can see two PoE injectors. This is our outdoor PoE injector, which is IP67 weatherproof rated. You can even bury it under the ground. And it is getting the power already. Here we have a short patch cord. We are going to connect it to our wireless bridge to provide power to it. This is the PoE port. And remember to press the single button to pair them up. And next, we are going to use an other Ethernet cable. Plug it into the Ethernet port and connect it all the way to the other PoE injector. This injector is used for our Wi-Fi 6 SS point. So now it's getting the data from the wireless bridge and then using the PoE output port for our Wi-Fi 6 SS point. So as you can see, the PoE port, the light is on. So now our Wi-Fi 6 wireless SS point is getting both power and data from the PoE injector. We can see the indicated light on the bridge are on and it's full bar. So next, we are going to take out our phone and test for the Wi-Fi. So let's turn on the Wi-Fi. Connect it 
with our Wi-Fi 6 SS point, it is already connected. So let's go on to our website to see if we can get internet. Of course we do. So now we have no problem accessing the internet using the wireless bridge and the Wi-Fi 6 SS point. So lastly, we have some tips for you. For dual band Wi-Fi 6 SS points, you may wonder whether to use 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz. Now the 2.4 GHz band offer better range and is more suitable for covering a large areas. But it can be slower and more prone to interference. And the 5 GHz band provide faster speed and less interference but it has a shorter range. So ideally, you should use both bands to balance coverage and performance. And additionally, there are some innovations like solar power Wi-Fi solution, and they offer sustainable and off-grid connectivity option. For more details, make sure to check out our next video for this topic. And thank you very much for joining us today. We hope this guide helps you set up a reliable outdoor Wi-Fi 6 network in your park or farm. Thank you very much for joining us. Before you go, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share for more tech tips and reviews. And I'll see you in the next video.